Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make this orange juice strainer. The way we've done this is not off a technical drawing or anything, it's just kind of out of my head what I think I see and then we just create it as we go along, adjust what we see until you get what you want. So follow along and see if you can do the same. We're going to start this off by drawing a sketch on the front plane here. I've decided I want to have this be 100 millimeters tall and a 150 millimeter diameter. So to do that, we're going to revolve this. So I'll make this this one 100 mils, and we'll draw a line down here. So I just pushed L for the shortcut key, and it selected line. So this is 75. So when I revolve it, it will be 150 millimeters diameter. L again. And you see I just touch down there and we get our dotted line. And this is going to be 5 millimeters. That's the thickness of our strainer or juicer. And then this will go up 25 millimeters. You'll see now once we've got all our lines in place, how we're going to get it to be a bit curved and look a bit better. So let's just get this constrained here. T for trim and we'll trim that out the way. So we need to get these inside profiles. Um, this profile here will be an arc. So create, we'll select a three point arc. It's going to come somewhere around here. I've got to have enough space for the juice to go. So we'll go there and just curve it up like that and then I want to do an offset on this line also minus five so that's going to be our, our profile that we're going to um, that we're going to revolve I just want to close this off up there and we'll get rid of this line here as well as that line. So we're going to have this open profile in the middle because we need the juice to be able to fall through. So, so we're going to do the same over here. Draw that down to there. And then we can get rid of these lines here. And you can see it's not fully constrained. We could add in a bunch of constraints if we wanted to. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. We need to add in a couple of fillets though. So between here and there, got a little bit of fillet, 10 millimeters is good. I'll push enter. I'm gonna do the same over here. I'll make that 10. And then we'll do this last one on the side here. Also 10 millimeters. So you can see now we've got this curved profile. When we sweep it up, it will give us what we're looking for. So let's just Get rid of this line and we can add a little 5 mil fillet on there just to close that up a bit or shape it up nicely. I'm going to leave this little edge straight there. We can add a fillet onto that just now. Finish sketch. So that's what we're working with. Now we're going to do a revolve. It's already selected the profile for us and the axis. You can either select this or you can select the line over there and we've got our profile so that's some of the way there we need to add in all the little holes around the side there as well as the sort of ribbed edges so what i want to do now is create a sketch on the front plane this is to have a sweep profile so we've got a path to sweep along when we make our our parts so i'm going to choose arc three point arc, gonna snap to that point there. And it's just kind of in a line here. We can make it past there or up to here, so long as it ends inside the profile. And then it's gonna follow that same profile. It doesn't have to be exact because our, um, the shape that we're gonna be lofting is gonna be inside there. And then I'm just gonna take the line tool, 
just extend this so now when we sweep from the bottom to the top we can choose where to end that that's quite important because we want them to all intersect and we're going to do a sweep um, or a revolve around the top to cut off the excesses so finish sketch now what we're going to do is create a sort of a triangle piece there um, so we're going to create it's going to be on the top plane so I'll view top and select that plane so we're drawing on that side there so I'm going to get the line tool again we've got our center point there just imagine how far you want it to go out and make sure it's going into this shape so we can do that again on the other side and we can put in a couple of constraints to make sure that they're equal so horizontal constraint and then we can put an equal constraint in there and if you really want if you're not sure if this is snapped to there you can make that horizontal or confined to that then we just close the profile off now we should be able to sweep it doesn't look like it's closed off let's check it out so I'm gonna go create sweep select that profile and then our path will be this whole line here and it's going to be a join operation so you can see it comes up the side there and we can extend this so I wanted to go past there, it doesn't really matter how far we're going to do a revolve that kind of cuts that away so now that we've got this profile we're going to just pattern it around there so we're going to create pattern and circular pattern over here it's going to ask us what we want to do we could say body or we can go into feature this way we can select a feature from our timeline which is this sweep we just did and the axis will be any one of these that run around the side so you can see there's three repeating three times and we just need to decide how many we want so you can see as you go more and more they closer and closer together but I think we can go with 12 okay that looks like a bit of a weird fruit or something um, what we're going to do now we'll go back into sketch and create a sketch on this front plane and then we're going to do a sweep profile so if I go to slice I can see I want this to sort of follow that path over there so I can we'll do an arc have it running on this line sort of up to a point there and put our arc in let me select line tool now we're going to be cutting all this away everything that falls inside of the sweep we're going to be cutting away so we're basically just making a big tool to cut away we've got our closed profile there finish sketch now we'll go back to revolve we'll select that profile and the axis will be one of these circulars okay so we've got the, the sharp point on the top with the ribbed edges so we're getting there now we just need to create these um, little holes for the juice to strain through for that we can create a sketch on this face directly I'm going to create one centrally over there and then we'll just pattern it around so we'll create one we'll extrude it then we'll pattern that feature for this I'm going to use the slot tool to center to center slot and I want it to fall in between these two curves so on that flat section I will select there and then we'll just move it out as wide as we need I'm not sure how wide I want it but I definitely don't want it that long so we can see that's 11 let's maybe make that 9 and we'll move this down a bit I think 9 is still a bit long we'll go with 7 move that down and then we need to make this narrower so we can set the distance between these two from 4 to 3 and then I do want it running along that line so I can just use a horizontal constraint make it constrained to there 
now that we've got our little slot we could um, we could extrude that but I do want to have this constrained so I'm gonna make a distance between this point and there and we'll make it exactly 50 so now we can see it's turned black which means it's fully constrained finish sketch and then we extrude so we'll extrude that one just get to the right angle could give it a distance you could say um, extend type 2 object and we just click on this side and it'll go down but I never trust these things although it's a computer it's not going to mess up I want it like that so I'll just drag it through so there we've got one little hole it does look a bit small so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in here set this to we'll try 9 and we'll change this to 48 when we go back it's updated our extrude now we'll go create pattern and circular pattern again over here we are selecting a feature to pattern the feature is that extrude the axis will be one of these circular axes around the side now you just add in as many as you want we'll see what 30 looks like perhaps 40 again this is what's fun about designing just as you see it um, you just change it as you go along and you, you end up with something that is really what you want or not but it's a lot of fun so here we've got our strainer just a few more things I want to add to it uh, I would like to add an appearance to it so I can right click on it select appearance sometimes it doesn't work let's see no so another way to enter that menu is s which is just shortcuts and you just type a for appearance now we're in here and i'm gonna go yellow so you can just type in there what you want it'll bring up anything with the word yellow in it but i'm specifically looking for something glossy so we can put that on there once you've added that you can just close that menu I'm still not quite done one more thing I want to add to it is I just want to put some writing wrap it around the edge there so we'll go into our construction menu and offset plane I'm going to do this off of the front plane and just drag it out it doesn't really matter how far so long as it's past here and you can kind of see where you're aiming I'm going to create a sketch on this front plane and we're going to select text now what we need to do is we just need to kind of draw our text box roughly over the area that we want it click there and I want this to say fusion fundamentals and there's your text you can select various texts and let's see what size we're looking at once you've selected your size you can move it around so I don't want it to spill over onto that curve, I want it on the flat part around the edge. So I can select OK. If you want to go back in and adjust it, you just double click there and it'll bring it up for you. So finish sketch. Now I'm going to go create and emboss. So the sketch profile will be our words there and the face will be over there. What it's going to ask you now, or what you can select is the effect of emboss or deboss. Deboss essentially engraves it in for you and emboss just keeps it out proud. So okay and there we've got our text on the side of the orange juice strainer and there we've got our orange juice strainer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe leave a comment in the comment section and tune in for some more videos. Till next time, bye.